It's not just nature's fury, but rampant corruption, indiscriminate construction and disastrous engineering that has left Bengaluru to drone. Overnight rains in the past week have once again left India's technology hub exposed and crumbling, with its 12 million residents left at the mercy of civic abati. Lexus big hai. With boats hitting the streets instead of vehicles, the IT capital of the country is on the verge of sinking as a second cloud burst in a week has flooded the city. Roads have been inundated with storms, water drains overflowing, low-lying areas waterlogged and several homes almost submerged as the deluge has nowhere to drain out. Vehicular movement has been brought to a standstill and commuters advise to be cautious before stepping out. IT companies in the city have issued an advisory to all their employees asking them to exercise caution, review the situation in the area and to plan their travel to office with discretion. An advisory sent to employees working at Eco Space, one of the worst hit IT parks in Bengaluru said, Bengaluru have seen heavy rains overnight which has caused several areas to flood. The heavy water locking has affected movement of traffic and several residences and apartments have been flooded. Offices are fully operational but we request all our employees to remain safe and to exercise caution, review the situation in the area and plan to travel to office with discretion. At the Rose, the meteorological department has predicted moderate to isolated heavy showers in the coming days and Bengaluru has no other option but to brave it out when nature strikes. What are they saying? Between the water is Sir, I am asking the same question. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> knows what, it, what caused this. Overflow of that. Belendur. The meteorological department has predicted moderate to isolated heavy showers in the coming days and Bengaluru has no other option but to brave it out when nature strikes. According to Kita Agnihoti, head of Indian meteorological department, Bengaluru, the city is expected to continue seeing moderate to heavy showers on Wednesday. Bengaluru recorded the highest rainfall in the state on Monday at 131.1. This is the third highest rainfall the IT city has experienced since 1988. On September 12, 1988, Bengaluru saw 177.6 cm of rainfall, the highest recorded till date. This was followed by 132.3 mm on September 26, 2014 and the latest one being the third highest till date in September. The highest rainfall was recorded in Bengaluru city and Nela Mangala in Bengaluru rural region. Stations like Hal Airport and Bekar in Chamaraj Nagar recorded more than 12 cm rainfall, a MAT official said. Areas around Bengaluru's IT corridor, including Outer Ring Road near Eco Space, Silk Board Junction, Vatur Belandur, KR Market, Sarjapur Road, Airport Road, and several parts of the central business district have been completely inundated.
Bengaluru's IT corridors have been the worst affected and Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai has assured companies that his government is trying its best to bring the city back on its feet. With an estimated loss of rupees 225 crore due to rain and water locking in Bengaluru, Bomai said that he would discuss compensation and other related damages.